In this video, we'll be evaluating an integral of a hyperbolic trig function. Our problem is to evaluate the integral of the hyperbolic cosine of x divided by the hyperbolic cosine squared of x minus 1 dx. Now, I'm going to make use of uh, an identity that we talked about previously in our videos. Um, because the hyperbolic trig functions make use of the unit hyperbola, our identity we can use for this is hyperbolic cosine squared minus hyperbolic sine squared is equal to 1. And I need a hyperbolic cosine squared minus 1. So I'm going to add um, a hyperbolic sine squared to both sides, and then I'm going to move my 1 over so that I have the hyperbolic cosine squared of x minus 1 is equal to the hyperbolic sine squared of x. So now I can rewrite this denominator and replace this binomial with uh, hyperbolic sine squared. So the problem now is the integral of the hyperbolic cosine of x divided by the hyperbolic sine squared of x dx. Now I'm going to let u be the hyperbolic sine of x, then du is the hyperbolic cosine of x dx. So then when I do my u substitution, uh, this becomes the integral of in my hyperbolic cosine of x dx, I'm going to replace with du. So I actually have uh, 1 over u squared du. Now let me rewrite this with a negative exponent. This is the integral of u to the negative 2 du. So when we integrate this, we increase the exponent by 1 and divide by the new exponent. So that is u to the negative 1 divided by negative 1 plus a constant. Now I can sub back in. My u is the hyperbolic sine of x, and this is 1 over. So I have a negative 1 over the hyperbolic sine of x plus a constant. And we know then that the reciprocal of the hyperbolic sine x is the hyperbolic cosecant x. So this is the same then as a negative hyperbolic cosecant of x plus a constant.